All right, so this is what I'm talking about right here. These are the types of chases that I like to see, all right? Hellcat Swap 300. That's right, Hellcat Swap 300. And trust me when I say it's got a Hellcat engine in it. The way this thing was moving, it's for sure a Hellcat. And you can see the big tires and all that stuff in the back. The video starts out with the trooper doing 140 just to catch up to him. You see the Hellcat 300 for all of five, six, seven seconds. And then he disappears again on the highway. Your boy did everything right. He had the power, Hellcat 300. He had the gas. He didn't run out of gas. He knew where he was going. He was on the highway in Arkansas. And he smoked these troopers bad. So bad that they called off the chase. But your boy did something stupid. Stupid. I'm not going to ruin it for you. Let's just get into it. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Knockout360, here with another video, man. So you can tell I'm in a house that makes it a house vlog. You know how it's going down when I come around. Let's get into it. Car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets, anything and everything car related happens on this channel, man. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around. For everyone else, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out. See, these are the types of chases I like. I like doing BMWs and Chevys and Fords and and Lincolns and, you know, all that shit. But when it comes to Mopars, that's my specialty. First off, shout out to my man, LRHN, Arkansas State Police. You already know what's going on. Let's just go ahead and get into it, man. I wasted enough of your time. Make sure that you subscribe for more, more, more content. Yeah, when you hear that, you know it's LRHN, man. Little Rock Hood News. Straight fire. <laughs> Soon as the video start, 141. The trooper doing 141. You don't see shit here, do you? One thirty five, one thirty seven, one forty one. Let's go. He pushing that Hemi. Nothing but highway. I'm not going to cut the video short either. We're going to watch the whole thing. Oh yeah, we got action. I hear some noise. Uh-oh, look at this. He getting sideways. Hellcat 300, look at them big ass wheels. Those might be 305s in the back. Goodbye. That's a Hellcat, not a scat right there. Goodbye. Jesus, he's gone. That's him right there. Keep an eye on that little black dot. Goodbye. The trooper's doing 141. And the Hellcats already got 10, 15, 20 cars between them. That means that thing is pushing 180. 170, 180. Consistent 140, and that Hellcat still pulling. Nothing. 
I'm gonna let the video play. I'm not gonna cut it. All right, so now this looks like a wild, wild west town. What's going on in Arkansas? This looks like Pageland, South Carolina, downtown Pageland, man. Yeah, he broke something. He broke something. Where's, where's the Hellcat at? Tell me where the Hellcat at? Is it? Did it go this way? Did it go that way? Did it go? Did it turn around? Where, where's the Hellcat? Ten twenty-two. I'm canceling the chase. Ten twenty-two. I'm canceling the chase. Fast forward a little bit, because at this point he's just fishing. Hellcat did him dirty. Did him dirty. That's another trooper going the opposite direction. That's another one right there. They got the whole department looking for this Hellcat. Oh, he ended up at the same uh, same crossroad. Intersection. You know you messed up when you double back. Well, it. He did something stupid, though. Oh. He did something stupid. There's your boys right there. There's the driver right there. Arrested. How? They haven't even found the 300 yet. I'll tell you how in a minute. Oh, he cussing the homeboy out. See, he said, where the car at? The car is over here. What they did was they beat all the cops, got as far away from them as we saw in the video. And then instead of keep moving, instead of keeping the chase going, going to the next town, next city, whatever, and then hanging out there for a while, your boys tried to go home and put a tarp over the Hellcat 300. In the middle of a police chase, they just decide, you know what, we've got enough room between us and the cops, we're going to go home and throw a tarp on the Hellcat 300. One of the troopers saw him, that's how they got caught. You heard the trooper say, where's the car at? It's over there, with the tarp on it. Yep. They tried to throw a tarp on the car. Got all of them. Yep, got your homeboy, got the passenger, got the driver, got everybody. He said, I wasn't driving. Oh, he cuss. He trying to cuss him out. He said, stop lying. 
Yeah, they called my mama. So that's the report right there. Let's go back. Uh, that's the report right there. So where can we find it at? All right, so this is going to show us exactly where. Boom, boom, boom. I attempted to move in for the TVI, but the suspect vehicle gained, regained control. That's where we first saw the 300. Uh, where's it at? I terminated the pursuit, advised my dispatch that I would remain in the area. After terminating the pursuit, Arkansas Game and Fish Sergeant. Game and Fish Sergeant? Arkansas Game and Fish Sergeant. I'll be damned if I'm in a Hellcat 300 and I get located by the Arkansas Game and Fish Sergeant. Fish Department. Oh my God. Located the vehicle and both um, uh, attempted to cover the vehicle with the tarp. Bro, located the vehicle and both of the assailants attempted to cover the vehicle with the tarp. The driver of the suspects the vehicle was not located at the scene. Both suspects were taken into custody on scene without incident. A further look into the car led me to discover that the car was uninsured at the time of the incident and that the driver was not able to present a driver's license because he did not have them on him or in the car. Both suspects were trans, uh, transported to the Cross County Detention Center, blah, 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 blah. So they hit him with no seatbelt. Okay, that's petty, but okay. No seatbelt, reckless driving, careless and prohibited driving, improper or unsafe lane change, speeding more than 15, oh yeah, no shit more than 15 miles over, tampering with physical evidence, fleeing on foot, fleeing felony, no liability insurance, improper passing on the left, improper U-turn on curb or crest of grade. So they threw the book at your boy. Long story short, what else did they get? Okay, so the driver got all of those charges. Uh, the other one got tampering with physical evidence, criminal conspiracy, tampering with physical evidence. So there was three of them, criminal conspiracy. So even if you're not driving, you're getting hit with criminal conspiracy because, uh, you know, there's a conspiracy that you were uh, complicit in whatever crime took place. I mean, 95% of this video was perfect. Hellcat 300, your boy was driving it. He knew what he was doing. Even when he got caught up in the whole U-turn situation when we first saw the 300 at the beginning, he got control of that motherfucker, got it back on the road, and was gone. One lane, two lane road in, in Arkansas, you know, two lane highway. I've seen this highway before. I think there was another video that we did where an actual Hellcat Charger crashed and, and caught on fire running from ASP. But um, he knew where he was going, in and out the neighborhoods, had the power, Hellcat 300, had the gas, I'm assuming, but your boys decided that in the same town, in the same area that we just ran from an entire department, we're just going to stash the Hellcat and throw a tarp on it, and we're going to go in the house and play Madden. Like, you got to see it all the way through. I mean, all the way through. Like, me personally, if I get into a situation like this in Charlotte, I'm not stopping my car until I'm in damn Gastonia, Salisbury, you know what I'm saying, Kannapolis. I got family up there, and I know for a fact they'll let me park my car in their garage. Then you can throw the tarp on it. You don't run from a whole department and get 10, you know, 5, 10 minutes away from them and then decide that you just want to park and throw a tarp on it? Throw a tarp on it? Come on, bro. But, I mean, 95% of this chase was perfect, you know? He took off on him. He had the car the entire time. I just don't see why, like, he should be in Memphis by now with that Hellcat. But nope, your boy got out, threw a tarp on it, and tried to make a run for it. So he goes down. He bites the dust, man. Shout out to my man LRHN Cash, man, dropping absolute heat, man. This was fire right here. This is how you want to start your Saturday morning, man. You got football, and then you got high-speed police chases, man. And trust me, that was a Hellcat Chrysler. That was a Hellcat 300. The way that thing was moving, that was a Hellcat. Scat packs, I love my scat guys to death. You know I do. I had a 392. 392s, they don't get away from you like that. That Hellcat disappeared. So that's got to be a Hellcat 300, man. But the car was perfect. The driver was not. As always, like, subscribe, comment. It's me, your boy, Knockout360. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.